didn't get Ferrari, you know. Won't get Ferrari. Back to that. Should be back now. So we were here in Mole for almost two nights. Um, it has been raining a hell a lot, I can say. Um, it was under red alert, and there is rain all over India. And you can see there in the background that the weather is still foggy and. It has just stopped raining. It was continuous rain for two full days. And now we have finally planned to move further. Um, well, the next day camp had to return back to Sri Kola. We will be uh, going from Mole to Al. Um, and we have, we couldn't go to Afalut because of the heavy rain and slushy trail. So today we are going to hike for about 16 kilometers all the way to Al and most probably we'll be staying in the tea house. So because of the heavy rain, we did not stay in our tent and instead uh, the one that you can see in the background. This is the tea house here in Mole. Well, our team is ready now um, to go further uh, to the next campsite. All set ready and it has just stopped raining. And on the other side, right in front of me is the Nepal uh, we will be going in and out of the Nepal border today. Uh, as you can see, the weather is a bit clear on that side. That's where the Nepal is. And we will be hiking uh, in that nearby hill that you get to see. And it's going to be not as steep as how it was yesterday, but it is going to be a bit of flat walk and downhill and a little bit of uphill. But this is the homestay where we stayed. And few final checks being done before we move out of this place. Subscribe to this channel. <laughs> People are so excited to see sunlight or a little bit of the Himalayan range yeah. after so many days. <laughs> Look at the smile. <laughs> <laughs> finally. Yeah, I know, finally. Udar, Udar, somewhere over there. What's over there? about a kilometer from Mole. We have 15 more kilometers to go. It's cloudy, foggy, in between. We get a glimpse of the Himalayan range. By the way, I guess this side is the Indian side and that side is the Nepal. We have now reached Sabal Gram and here is a Church of Buddha, I guess. 
and also a few other gods that you get to see here and that's the Devrali is what I have been told and basically that's for the safe journey of our trekkers and let's, let me just pray for a while and then continue further far, far behind um, you can see the hut and few of our trekkers have already reached and I need to hurry up now by the way you can even camp here in this campsite it's a beautiful campsite with them with some amazing view but you can expect heavy wind here in this portion of the uh, place or the campsite so that's the reason why we camped in Mole and also because of heavy rain we couldn't even go outside for two nights and we stayed there so this was uh, again one of the campsites that we were supposed to but I don't think we have a tea house here and you'll have to stay in tent by the way, if you want to stay in tea house, I think you need to call them up and book an advance. So this is the Sabalgram campsite. And there is another trail which goes all the way this way. And that is the way to Falut. So you can go to Falut, but today is a, because of the bad weather. And we do not have enough of time to go around. We have decided to continue further. Huh? This is all Nepal. Acha bottle in Kape. Yes, yes, road border. Okay, so there is a village there, right? That's all in Nepal, right? Nepal, Nepal village. Okay. Let's go, let's go! Come on! It's about 2 kilometers from Mole and now you can see um, clear visuals of Nepal and it's clear on the Nepal side, still foggy, but let me switch my camera so that you get a clear picture. And this is why you need to come to Sandakpur. Sandakpur is 14, Darjeeling is 72. Okay, so we are going to stop at Tokum, which is 7 kilometers. Very, very, very. Very? 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 थोड़ा छोटा है लेकिन लंबा होता है अच्छा बहुत सारे हैं Nepal border that you get to see and someone just left this is quite common here because of the slippery trail let me
you can see a lot of pine trees here and they're all dead trees i guess it's because of the lightning that's what i've been told and look at the meadows and uh, it's a bit of a tall grass kind of thing that you get to see and the prayer flag here right in front and on the other side is the nepal we're still in india and you can see the fence in some of the places here on top and that's the india nepal border so this side is nepal and that side is india so the, here is the pillar अच्छा नेपाल देखा हुआ है ना नेपाल वेर ऑल स्टैंडिंग इन नेपाल वेलकम टू नेपाल एंड द वेरी नेक्स्ट स्टेप विल बी इन इंडिया नो पासपोर्ट रिक्वायर्ड एटलीस्ट फॉर इंडियंस हमने पिछले की तरह से काटा जो रहता है ना वो बाउंड्री वहाँ से दूसरा है एकदम क्रॉस करके ब्रिज क्रॉस करके आए हैं नेपाल About seven kilometers from this place is Sandakpu. That's what the signboard says. By the way, we will be crossing between India and Nepal. back on trail uh, we just had our lunch at 
Tokum and we are now on the way to our campsite and another 8 kilometers to go we will reach most probably in another um, 8 kilometers right so it's not that steep and there is a jeep route as well that you get to see but we are not taking that uh, well it's right adjacent to that so <laughs> wherever there is a um, small hill kind of thing we will be taking shortcuts so you can follow so you can follow the same trail you don't have to take the hiking trail you can even follow the jeep trail to go out by the way it's unfortunate that we cannot see anything totally blind i mean it's super foggy and the visibility is really poor the only glimpse that we got was initially in the first one kilometer when we just started with the hiking almost reached all campsite um, we are just waiting for other teammates to join us and it's unfortunate that we couldn't get we did not really get um, any kind of view of uh, the sleeping Buddha or the Everest you can see how foggy it is Finally, we made it to Al campsite, and also this is the viewpoint and the homestay. Oh man! So, guys, we have finally made it to Al Alu Al and we are going to stay in the tea house, most probably, hopefully. And here is here are the trekkers. So the overall distance that we have covered is 14.24 kilometers. Ha, huh, that's what. Or else it would have been 16. So 19,844. Almost 20,000 steps. 9:30 to 4. 9:30 to 4. Okay. Yeah. India Nepal border stone. Uh, the basically the marking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs>